So now let's see exactly how you're able to add your domain um, to your ClickFunnels account, right? Now it's gonna keep telling you that uh, unexpected error occurred. Again, it's gonna take a little bit. So give it a couple minutes. You may need to come back and verify the domain. Once again, here we go. Know the name of the flow. Turn me up a little more. It's important to understand that when when you create a new funnel in ClickFunnels, it has a you know an awkward long URL. And you can see it in here, marianviasano.clickfunnels.com forward slash order confirmation and a bunch of other letters afterwards, right? Like you don't want that. Like you don't want people, even though, you know, don't stress it too much, uh, but you don't want that essentially. You want to, you know, you want to be professional. You want to treat it like a business. Therefore, you need a custom domain to get your funnels hosted there. And so people can actually see that you care and you care about your brand and, and everything else, right? So you go to account settings, you go to domains, and what you need to do in here is this. So you're gonna have to add a new domain. You can choose a domain from, let's actually, let's try it directly from uh, ClickFunnels and see. All right, so cffunnelacademy.com is great. Okay, so now let's see exactly how you're able to add your domain um, to your ClickFunnels account, right? Because that's important to, it's important to understand that regard, I mean, you buy the domain, but then you have to connect the two, right? And it's a little bit tricky at first, but we're gonna simplify things in just a second here. Okay, so you have to find the actual domain and you have to go to DNS. The reason that you have to go to DNS is you have to add, so in ClickFunnels, when we add, your own domain, like use an existing domain, cffunnelacademy.com. Add the domain, and it's gonna tell you how to connect your domain to ClickFunnels. In order for your custom domain to work, you'll need to log in, blah, blah, blah. Add a CNAME record that points www at target.clickfunnels.com. So let's go. You're gonna add a CNAME, right? Like it says, add a CNAME. You're right here. You're adding a CNAME. The host, it's www. It has to point to this domain, target at clickfunnel, uh, target.clickfunnels.com. As you can see, I've used it a couple of times. And this one doesn't really matter that much. And you just hit save. Now, it's going to keep telling you that uh, unexpected error occurred. You know, let us say that for a couple of times. Refresh and most likely is added there. If it's not, you may need to edit and save. And now it is. And then we come to ClickFunnels and we tell him, I've done this step. And ClickFunnels is going to check and it's going to say, woohoo, you did it. ClickFunnels Academy is connected and ready to use. If you want to see the same blueprint that generated more than seven figures in my own business and that my private clients are using every day to get insane results, you can get access to it for free. And the link is right in the description below. Um, you come to the funnel that you want to use. Now, again, this is in scenario of you hosting the domain directly through ClickFunnels and not the part where you host your pages on your WordPress account, because you can do that too. But you don't wanna, like, it all depends, right? Like not all the funnels will have a WordPress account and um, and you shouldn't, like you shouldn't just build WordPress websites for each and every funnel. Like you're gonna have to, and I'm gonna associate the funnel and um, it's gonna take a little bit. You'll see the ClickFunnels Ac um, Academy is yet unverified. So, you know, you may need to, it's gonna take a little bit because you have to understand, like even though you hit verify, it's gonna take probably, I would say give it a couple, give it like an hour or so until you're able to, to, to see it live. Um, you can also hit the, the SSL, but it's gonna, again, it's gonna take a little bit. So give it a couple minutes. You may need to come back and verify the domain. Once you do that, you may even need to refresh or or because sometimes ClickFunnels is just weird of recognizing that you, even though they said, okay, congrats, your domain is ready to use. Sometimes it's not ready to use and it might take a little bit, right? But if you look in here, it's already in. It's already in the funnel. What you need to do now is you need to make sure that you clear out the paths. So you have a couple paths. You have the path from the settings. You come in the path and you put, let's say, CF training. We save an update and then we'll come into the settings. We'll come into the publishing. We'll hit CF training right there and boom. Now we actually have a custom domain. 
with a nice little page URL. So I'm pretty sure you get the point here. So it's important, you know, you may need to pause and, and hit back a couple of times until you make it work. But trust me, this is the step. This is what I do every single time. Let's try one more time with a domain to see if it, if it recognizes it right now. So let's see if after we open up into the incognito window, it still does the, if it still does, it's just a matter of giving it a couple more. Yeah, obviously it's it's recognized because it's in there, but for some reason, this is a glitch in the system. You may need to give it a, maybe like an hour or so and you'll be good to go. If you like this video, you're gonna love the next in-depth training that I put together for you about ClickFunnels, about how to start using the platform and also how to start making money with it. So don't go anywhere. Start binge watching the next video coming up right here on my left. And also I'm gonna give you access to a free $297 Funnel Academy course. So I'll see you on the other side.